Hello there, everybody. Good day. Welcome to today's show with uh, Phil. Today's MGTOW topic is, <clears throat> you know, women, listen. I appreciate it. A lot of you out there are pretty beautiful, but <clears throat> you're trying to put a label on men saying that they should spend money on you. I got to tell you this. Now, take note. I want you to take note. Often, <coughs> excuse me, the rich man is often disguised in a poor man's cloak, a Scottish proverb. The man looks real poor on the outside, but he's rich on the inside. Okay, not of uh, currency, not of jewels, bling, all these little stuff that men just want to tie themselves down, make them look like they're all that, okay? And we're going to cover the topic of um, reason that men are walking away from dating and uh, and I'm giving um, credit to the YouTube subscriber called Man Talk and everything he's saying is the truth let's go ahead and begin so sometimes I look like this, but I also look like this. And some of you might say that I'm a catfish, but I'm just being real. Look, the fact that you have dentures isn't a problem. I mean, you have other options, but your body, your choice. And believe it or not, some guys are into this kind of stuff. But your entire TikTok page is dedicated to your missing teeth, which is... How do I put this? All right. <clears throat> I'm going to add to this bit. I'm going to add to this. Now, that TikTok page with her showing off really bothers me. Um... She's coming across as a needy person, okay? <clears throat> um, she's not really that attractive in my eyes, okay? She wants somebody to date. <clears throat> but... <clears throat> The sad part is, the sad part is, she's not even that, like I said, she's not attractive. So let's go ahead and continue on, shall we? Men with money do not give about spending money, period. Oh. Um, that one video before this one, she really has, um, lack of compassion for men, okay? I could just tell by, uh, what she just said. Men don't give F about spending money. They don't give F. Well, let me tell you something. Men do care. But when you go finesse them, they do care. <coughs> Let's get on to the next one. Period. To everything she said. But also, here's another angle. Sometimes I will see women overestimate the meaning of a man spending money on them. Sweet. All right. I'm sorry. To, uh, I'm sorry, man. Talk. Um. This what this woman is. <coughs> She's technically a three or 
Uh, and then not well, not a three or four. She's a 49er. So that's a gold digger up there. And I'm sorry. I'm calling it what it is. And if you're trying to judge a man by how much money he has, <clears throat> you're, uh, I'm sorry, lady. You're gonna wind up single. You are going to wind up, wind up single. And there's somebody else that's going to come for a visit. And his name is Father Time. He's going to have a good time with you. He's going to start taking stuff away from you. He's going to give you flaw this. He's going to give you wrinkles. He's going to take away your youth, fertility, desirability. He's going to take a lot of stuff away. He's going to give you... What you do not want. Let's continue. Pretty, here's an idea. How about you stop obsessing over other men's money? It's not your money. It's their money. Women are not entitled to men's money. Ever. So, if you want money, get a job. This man told me that I was high maintenance. You know what I have to say to that? Sincerely, we don't care. All right, I'm going to add to this. <clears throat> I just saw that woman has a, a narcissism personality trait in her. <clears throat> or she's a psychopath, one or the other. She looked like a person who don't care. As long as she get what she wants. A man is expendable. So when she does leeching off one man, she leeches on to another man, and then so on, and so on, and so on. It is what it is. Don't get married till you drop. Oh, um, I'm going to drop this line about marriage. <clears throat> Number one, why do men need to go and man up to sign a contract that's enforceable by the state and being railroaded into family court to have costs passed on to them? Majority of the men pay for divorces and usually filed by women. <clears throat> and did you know that? It's just statistically proven. Here, let me show you. Okay. According to Google.com, in fact, nearly 70% of divorces are initiated by women. This is according to a 2015 research study conducted by the American Sociological Association, which suggests two-thirds of all divorces are initiated by women among college-educated women. This number jumps up to 90%. I just showed you the the statistic and read it to you. Let's look, let's continue. And then just buy a house. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. So empowering. Much girl power. Wow. But ladies, what they don't tell you is that you won't be 25 forever. And what you think is fun at 25 won't be fun at 50. As people age, their priorities shift. You might notice that your friends are getting married and having kids and no longer spending time with you because you're still going to parties and getting wasted at 35. You see, they now have different priorities and can no longer relate to you. And seriously, at some point, getting ran through by random dudes will inevitably lose its charm. Sure, you might take comfort in your job, but eventually you're gonna retire, so what are you going to do with your life? Your parents will be very old. 
your friends will have grandchildren and you will have no activities or purpose in society. I know the whole Kevin Samuels dying alone meme is funny and all, but ladies, spending your final years feeling lonely and useless will not be fun. No matter how much money or <coughs> you acquire, after you die, the state gets everything. You don't get to take it with you. No matter what the media or some parts of modern society will tell you, make no mistake. Your only real legacy are your children. And that's the bottom line. Go Stone Cold Simpson. Alright, I want to go ahead and cover the topic on this. And uh, <clears throat> now, I'm going to go ahead and cover up this topic on the dating perspective. Now, um, I'm going to say this for both men and women. <clears throat> People do grow apart. They'll go right here. Very young years, the bonnet, the pair bonnet. They oh, the age. They grow apart and they split and get wider and wider. Guess what? They end the marriage or a relationship and then they go separate ways. <clears throat> So, now, I want to cover this up, and I didn't want, you know, I just want you to know, understand. Now, the priorities change. <coughs> priorities change. The feelings will change. The man's feeling for the woman will change. The woman's feeling for the man will change when they enter, when they exit, when they get into the 20s, they get into the 30s, they get into the 40s, in the 50s, then in the 60s. People's priorities changes over time. You know, I'm not trying to beat up on any gender, but I'm telling you they're all red pill truth and I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what let me know in your comments below to you know keep it going and thank you for listening to this red pill message have a good have a good day everybody <laughs>